Small-scale traders within the city and neighboring counties want the opposition to reconsider its planned street demo as the country is hurting. The traders say the escalation of the demonstrations to three days a week will not only deny them their daily bread, but will increase the burden of the high cost of living. In Nairobi, small-scale traders decried the losses occasioned by the protests called by the Azimio coalition last week Wednesday. The traders calling on the opposition chief Raila Odinga to call off the three days demos slated to begin Wednesday, claiming they would cripple the sources of livelihood. Sisi ni watu ambao wameumia kwa sababu ya maneno ya maandamano. Na leo siku ya leo inasemekana kwamba kesho kutakuwa na maandamano. Sisi tumeona hatutakaa chini tuangalie biashara zetu zikiharibiwa kama hatufanyi jambo. Mm. Hii maandamano inakuja kila wakati kila wakati. Yeah, Last yeah, time walibeba viatu zangu zote. Mm. Mimi sikuuza. Ni vile tu nilijificha na polisi. Ah tu ndio nilienda kwa nikajificha. Ju ningepigwa. The traders who also presented a petition to the Mudaiga police station seeking to be allowed to camp outside the home of a prominent family claim the protests are being bankrolled. Wa mama hapa hawatafanya kazi siku tatu kwa sababu tu huko na pesa mingi ya kutumia vibaya. Huko na pesa mingi ya familia ya kutumia vibaya. Sisi tunakuomba na tutaenda hapo kwa amani tuongeleshe mama mstaafu. Serikali wametujengea masoko na wamekisho sure kila kitu inaendelea vizuri. Sasa sisi tunataka kusimamisha au machi financer waache kufinance hawa watu wa maandamano. In Thika, a section of youth has rejected the anti-government protests claiming they have previously occasioned the losses of lives and destruction of property. They are appealing to police to help in protecting lives and property. Sisi vijana wa hapa tunataka amani. Na sisi tukatupaka tunataka tupe freedom ya kufanya biashara zetu. Na sisi tunasema ile kitu tunahitaji kwa hii kwa hii nchi yetu ni maendeleo sio maandamano. Tunaomba former prime minister atupatie nafasi, apatie serikali nafasi, ifanye kazi na mimi niko na imani na hii serikali. Biashara yetu inaharibiwa. Mimi biashara yangu nimetafuta na miaka kama kumi ama ishirini. Inaharibika na dakika moja. Nikasikani wanatuambia kesho tutakuwa. In Muranga, residents and traders at Mukoyo market have condemned the three-day planned demonstrations, terming them as a scheme to dismember the country. The traders claim they have suffered immense losses when protests are held in Nairobi. Tunasikia vibaya sana kwa kuwa watoto wetu wanakufa. Wanakufa bule. Watoto wetu ndio tunatupa hapa Mbokoyo. Makazi yetu mmerorongano ikiingia, biashara zetu ndio inapotea. Ningeomba sana Iyo yote iisha na serikali ijue vile itaisa kwa sababu mwananchi wa kawaida hakuna chochote anaweza kujifanyia. Serikali kuu na serikali dogo mambo ya maandamano katika Kenya mzima ikatae kabisa kabisa. And a section of Nyahururu residents and traders have called on the government to quell the planned demonstrations scheduled for Wednesday. They want the opposition to call off demos and allow the government to work on delivering its pre-election pledges. Mheshimiwa Dito Moreithi wakiwa na Saroline sisi wanalaikipia hatutaki maandamano hata kamwe. Tu tumeona youth wengi wetu wamekufa huko Nairobi, tuache kukubali kutumika katika maandamano sababu ukipigwa huko nje ama uwawe hautaona hao watu wa siasa. Toka president wetu William Samoei Ruto achaguliwe hajafikisha miaka yake tano. lakini tunaona tu mabadiliko bado. John Jacob Curie Prime Edition.